Hi, my name is Luke. Welcome to the Pedersen Leonard Furniture Factory. It's a totally chaotic and crazy thing that we're doing here. We really, we, we push ourselves very hard to make something of exceptional quality and the details are, are really important to us. How we treat people, how we treat the environment, how we treat our staff um, and our customers. These are the things that we obsess over. And the rest of it is kind of curiosity, creativity in real, in real time. Um, we kind of just look at spaces and opportunities and say, well, has this been designed? Could we do something here that's unique? Does the world need another one of these things? Um, and if we feel like the answer to that is yes, and we have something compelling, then we, we go after it. I think all of the proudest moments that I've had in our business have been culture moments where, where there's just like an inflection point and suddenly you realize, okay, wow, everyone is on this bus. We're all on the same bus here. We have an amazing team. I'm absolutely blown away by this team. Um, we, we just do things here at such a high level and, um, and that's because people are just doing their best and they're really bringing um, passion to it and exceeding like way beyond um, what any one of us could do on our own. Our approach to sustainability is firstly, I think um, you, you need to look at it through a lens of rationality. Like what is rational for us to do? Our long-term goal is to try and close the loop completely on our production and have no waste that leaves the factory. At the moment, a lot of the waste that leaves here goes into other industries, which is super nice. So we supply compost farmers and horse farmers, mushroom farmers with our sawdust. And um, because we keep our sawdust lines clean, um, we're able to do that, so that's great. But I think ultimately we'd like to be using that sawdust as well. So we've been doing some testing around making cool objects with, with sawdust, pressurizing and, and, and producing other things that hopefully will, will come to fruit at some point. What excites me about the future of, of South African design is, is definitely that um, South Africa and Africa is, is having a solid moment in the sun and that feels really good, that feels um, timeless, feels like uh, the rest of the world are looking and, and wanting to understand what is unique about this continent and the people that are here. We have an amazing, amazing bunch of people, we've got an amazing country, we've got resources, we've got a willingness to work and uh, ingenuity that you don't find in other parts of the world. And we've been formed by lots of, of trials and tribulations here, yeah. so we, we have a lot to offer actually, and that's, that's really exciting. <laughs>